this story took place in the beginning of September. We got a call from our friend and she said that kids were playing outside and found behind a fence newborn kittens. Kittens were dirty, wrapped in weird looking rag. This means that kittens were abandoned by the humans and not by their cat mother. There were three kittens, but unfortunately by the time they were found, one of them went to a rainbow. For that moment kitties were only a couple hours old, because they still had black poop. This means that most likely, they poop first time in their life. A bit later, when we start to feed them, color of their poop will normalize. But at this moment everything was indicating that kittens were separated from their mother right after their birth. For the kitties, bed was found very quickly. On the bottom we placed warm bottle and left it in a dark place before our arrival. Kitties, after warming up by artificial warm, either went to sleep after a couple of minutes or very quickly woke up because of hunger. Kitties screamed loudly and called for their mommy, but the mommy won't be coming to them. We had no options, we had to take the kittens. We understood that a near future is going to be hard. For the unforeseeable future, we have to forget about our genetic lifestyle and freedom in some form because feeding newborn kitties without a cat is a form of staying home policy. But it's all just a little things. For the most part, we were afraid to fail, afraid that we won't be able to feed them properly, afraid that kittens can die from hypothermia, weak immune system or typical virus. This is a life and we, unfortunately, not wizards. And it seems that feeling was familiar to us. Because action was taking place during evening time, we were able to count approximate time of birth. Most likely, kittens were born at night time or very early in the morning the same day. And that means that their official birthday is September 5th. Maybe this information will be useful to their future owners. But all of this later. For now, we need to take the kittens to our home and make sure they survive. While we are going, I will show you something. This kind of set indicators I see pretty much monthly. Zero new subscribers for the last month. This is 20,000 less than usual. I never seen anything like this before. If the flower won't be watered, he will die. The same is happening to channels. So let's urgently save our channel. For that to happen, we need to water it very hard so he can grow again and blossom. For those that aren't yet subscribed, find under video a subscribe button and click it. Let's help our channel survive, because with every video our indicators are getting worse. At home we settled a carrying bag with kittens on a balcony sofa. During the day this balcony got warmed on the sun to a needed temperature and this was very convenient for us. For this small and fragile organism it's very important for temperature in the room to be right. The first one to visit our guests came baby Marty. Boy is young and curious, so always wants to be present in everything that is happening around. But unknown scents from alien animals scared our master. Sonia right away hid behind a bed and wasn't even curious who we brought to her home again. Now our mission for the next couple of months, completely replace for those kitties their cat mother and do everything with our hands that is she supposed to do and this is until kittens grow up. Also we gotta take care of the warmth. Because newborn kittens get warmth from their cat mother, we need a bottle or warmer. 
At pharmacy we bought big rubbery warmer and filled it with a warm water. Important note is not to use boiling hot water because it can result in rupture and kittens can die. Next we surely wrap this warmer in a couple layers of some warm cloth. Would be nice wool type so we can maximize our conditions to our real ones. Place where kitty is going to be sleeping must be dark without some beams and drafts. For the foreseeable future as a home for kitties work perfectly a cat carrier. It closes very nicely so the kittens can accidentally crawl out and drop from the sofa and also it shelters kittens from excess sun rays, outside sounds and even animals. Inside the cat carrier we put warm clothes so the kitties can sleep in comfort and warmth. Now we have to take care of their food. Take syringe and special rubbery cap that looks like a nipple. Some time ago we fed our petite Sonia with it and from that time they were saved by us as a memory. Who could have thought that after so many years they would be useful to us again. Throughout the washed nipple by clean water we put it on a syringe with rubbery cap for more smooth pushing. This is the way we're going to feed kittens every two hours, even during night. Next we have to find, probably most important, what to feed newborn kittens. For that we need special mixture that is usually called cat milk replacer. But unfortunately that mixture is not available in our town. Something we found online and right away made an order, but the nearest delivery is only available somewhere between 3 days. While this mixture is going to be on the road, all of those 3 days we got to feed them with something. And we found a solution. Online we read that we can feed them human mixture for newborns. In short, change cat milk replacer with human milk replacer. Bought it in a shop a mixture with similar composition and ran home to feed hungry kittens. Prepared everything as it says on the manual, but with smaller proportions, because it's for human babies rather than kittens. Also, color and smell of this mixture is almost the same as a cat mixture. Same whitish slime, just like a cat milk replacer. Warming up the mixture to a right temperature, as it says on instructions, we place it inside syringe and slowly try to feed it to our newborn foundling. Hands remember all of those moves, only out of habit since so many years passed. Kittens were very hungry and with huge appetite eating warm mixture. For kittens to grow big and strong we had to feed them regularly and by the hours. Important to remember that is that at that moment the building of their future bodies is happening. If we do everything right at this moment kittens will grow up big and strong and if not they will grow small and weak. Right after food we have to help kitties go to the bathroom. Remember that newborn kittens cannot go to the bathroom by themselves until they are about one month old. For them that does their cat mother licking their tummy and booty so that they can deflate. Remember that for the rest of your lives that if not done the kittens will die. And because we have taken the cat mother role upon ourselves we have to take care of that process. Don't take my words literally, we're not going to use our tongue. We take cotton pad, dumping it a bit in clean warm water and with light movements cleaning kittens their bottoms, completely repeating their mom's movements. Streams begin to gurgle, that means we do everything right. Also not forgetting about poop. Newborn kittens in the first week after birth need to go number two almost every time they feed, so about eight times a day. With growth, number of load from mine thrower will drop. All procedures are done according to instructions and regularly. And feeding and bathroom cannot be skipped. There cannot be any I'll hang out a couple more hours or I'll sleep a bit longer because nothing will happen. Since we took that responsibility, we have to take care of that and walk that road worthily. I think you understand that. Right after a hearty meal and bathroom, kitties 
right away fell asleep. This means that nothing is bothering them and their sleep is deep right until next feed. Kitties trustingly got comfortable next to a heating pad, subconsciously thinking that it's their mom, and felt its artificial heat, went right into childlike flying dream. After two hours we came back to our kittens, but before their feeding we have to do something. Thing is, we found in their fur something weird that looks like maggots. What it is and where it came from, we don't know, but it obviously has no place there. Because of that right after awakening we had to go wash. First one to wash is going our black and white swimmer. We made water warm and put a kitty under soft and calm stream of water. Necessarily watching the water won't get on the face, especially in the ears and nozzle. Because kittens were born recently and very weak, we don't use any shampoo or soap. Because of that, we wash their fur from outside dirt with typical warm water and this will be more than enough. Black Kitty wasn't as dirty so we didn't have to wash him too throughoutly. Right after washing we wrapped Kitty in dry comfy towel so he won't freeze. Kitty got warm and fell asleep right on our hands. When we got a bit dry, we returned him to a warmer couch and placed him next to a warm bottle. Right after that, we take our patchy girl. In her fur, she had more dirt and we had to clean her with old toothbrush. Or with Katya. <laughs> the toothbrush is soft and won't hurt Kitty in any way especially considering that the cat mother licks them with rough tongue. After toothbrush we used warm water. Kitties don't understand yet, but under a stream of water they almost like less resistant and less meow. Soft and warm streams pleasantly hugging kitty's body and it seems like he likes it. After washing, we wrapped up kitten in the same towel, so that our patchy beauty won't get cold and sick. Baby fell asleep right away, and it seems that she had dream of her taste in near future. Also, if you never watched newborn kitten nose closely, here you did, and now you've seen everything. After bath, we once again stuff our tummies with warm milk. Necessarily went to the bathroom and now it's bedtime. From now on, we're going to do everything we can to save those tiny lives. Kitty is laid on the cold ground without their cat mom for some time, but life has given them a small chance for survival. Two tiny, infinitely cute nubbins, absolutely defenseless and helpless. They were abandoned by irresponsible human thrown away like a trash to a neighbor's side, only because their life is not worth the trouble to waste energy and time for them. But everything could have been completely different. Cat mom could have raised her babies by herself. Human would not have to do anything. After that, those kittens could have been given to some girl whose world will be definitely be filled up with fluffy colors. Kittens will be someone's favorites would be so much source of happiness and even inspiration. And a cat would be sterilized so she won't give birth to more unfortunate and unwanted animals. But instead of that we got what we got. Any situation can be resolved without competency and humanly. 
but unfortunately not everything that we understand, others do. For the first day staying with us, kittens almost like slept off, got warm, gained strength and all the next days were very active and it seems like their mood improved very much. When we first brought them home, first time kittens were sedentary, slept a lot and didn't really try to escape. But now it's hard to recognize them and it's very good. Newborn kittens currently are blind and don't see anything or understand. Their eyes will open in about two weeks. And since their every move is happening blindly, kittens can instantly drop from the sofa. Good thing I was able to catch her in time on the flight, but it's better not to risk it and never leave kittens without supervision outside a carriage. Crawl and walk they don't currently need. At their age, sleep is more important and need their bones they completely can inside. After two days, we got our package, a long-awaited cat milk replacer. Inside was three bags of dry mixture, measuring spoon and a bottle with a nipple. Nipple is big, so we're going to use it later, when kittens grow up. Doing everything according to instructions. One spoon without a hill for 20 milliliters of warm water. After that, under Sonia's supervision, all of this cocktail needs to be shared, so the mixture completely dissolves. Sonia had grown on the same milk, so that's why she was supervising completely. After that, we pour this milk into syringe and pour into our small tanks just enough, as it says on the instruction. To say that kitties are insatiable is to say nothing. A lot of times there were no need to even press the forcer of syringe. With this force, kittens by themselves pumped out milk. They constantly were asking for more, but we cannot overfeed them too. Because of that, we tried to follow the rules of feeding. Only sometimes we broke the rules and given them a bit more than the norm. For example, one and a half of syringe instead of one. But I'm hoping we won't get arrested because this violation is with good intentions. 
After food and toilet, we necessarily wash booty and tummy with warm water because hygiene needs to be maintained. After that, we wiped and sent to sleep at warm warmer. With arrival of real mixture for newborn kittens, it became much more calm because this is a tested product. This is how went our every day. At first, it wasn't familiar and kind of hard. We had to set alarms and wake up during night to feed babies and do all necessary procedures. We almost never left the house. And if we did, then we will come back home every two hours, one by one, to feed kittens. But you get used to this regime quickly and all of the hustle become part of our lives. During daytime, I engage with kittens and at the same time was making videos for you. And during evening, Katya was coming from work and were taking care of the kittens. This is how in not boring and friendly tandem went our days and nights. Here, look! This is her trying to yawn, but she can. They probably can't yet, while they're little. It's okay, they'll learn later. On a sixth day, the belly buttons on kittens were dropped. When they mature, they drop by themselves. Our help is not needed here. Kittens were growing up not by days, but by hours. We gradually noticed how their fur changes, how stretched out and grow larger their heads, how grow and get stronger they paws. On the tenth day, Pachi Kirin started to open his eyes. First eye showed, then after a couple of days, second one started to appear. For black and white one, his eyes started to open up a bit later, about on a 15th day. Kittens open their eyes by themselves and our help is not needed. To be honest, eye opening has to be most memorable stage from the time of feeding kittens. When you understand that this marvel sees you, watches you and learning from you with its tiny brains. For them everything right now is just a dream, one that later they will forget, but one that is forming their perception for the rest of their lives. As soon as tomorrow they will forget everything that they saw today, but they will definitely going to have stored either good or bad impression. And that means that from this moment is very important to not to break their psyche. We tried not to scare kittens by any way, have not made excessive noise, have not talked too loudly, haven't moved too abruptly and even won't go to their room in a puffy clothes. No big jackets or a rustling down jacket. Right now in their small pots learning of surrounding area is happening and every sudden startle can leave a mark and make them timid for the rest of their lives. Of course a lot is based on the character of an animal, but some amount of accountability is also upon ourselves, so we better not harm. 
We try to hold kittens in our hands more often. Try to pet more often and scratch behind the ear, so that they can from early age become friendlier and more attached to a human being. Imagine that those kittens don't even know their mother cat. Their mom were humans. Human scent were present when they were making their first sniff in the first hours of their priceless lives. Human hand warmth they felt when they were fed, cared and fondled. Human breath and voice hundreds of times waking them up from their sleep and made them fall asleep in a deep slumber. And the first one they saw when they opened their petite eyelids were human too. Kittens wouldn't even react to our animals, always stretched to us. And this is not a fright, that they were raised in one place and will live in another. They will remember not a us per se, but a human figure. Share the warmth of your heart with them and they will do the same. On the whole journey we try to do everything possible to make those kittens see human as something beautiful and related. Now. It's up to us not to break that picture in the future. On a third week time, between meal was increased to 4 hours. It became much easier, because now we don't need to run home every 2 hours to feed the kittens. Those were completely different kittens, more grown and curious. They don't want to sleep as much, but they want to climb and explore the world. Slowly they learn to stand on their paws and make their first confident steps. Not always confident of course, but at least diligent. A bit more time and they will make Marty run circles in the rooms. Black and white kitten grew up and went on that bottle. He liked that big nipple very much. From what he can squeeze out maximum treats. And the spotty girl kept eating only from a syringe. Until kittens completely haven't learned to wash themselves with their tongue, we continue to do that for them with cotton disc and warm water. And the same with the toilet, before they learn to do their number one and two by themselves. In the lodge, kitties were not sleepy. They are not the same as the ones that right after feeding snuggled the warm heater and fell asleep right away. Now they see the world around them and see each other and that means that there is no time for sleep. Soon the teeth started to appear. First ones to grow were milky fangs and later the rest of the teeth. This means that very soon kittens will start to eat by themselves. We regularly try to give them to smell meat, potatoes and even their mixture, but those kitties still don't understand and just get dirty in the food. Well, let's not push it. Currently, they eat approximately 3 times more than before, and that means that they well fed. A bit later, we ordered to kitties the spacious playpen. The carrier is already small for them and therefore they need more space. During the day, we let the kids out for a walk and send them to sleep in a tent.
The kittens appreciate their new thing, but after that we had another headache. How to train the kittens to the litter box, because the babies learn to pee on their own. We tried everything. We found an old small litter box for the kittens at home. At first, we put the litter box without filler and just dropped cotton balls there, which the kittens peed on. We took them to the toilet manually, right in the litter box. Then we tried to pour filler and even put a marked diaper in the litter box. This is also did not give anything. We even scattered dry food around the playpen because maybe they will smell the food in some way and will not be there. In short, whatever we did, the kittens still went to the toilet in the corners of their playpen. Sometimes we even had to force them to pee in the litter box. We see that the baby wants to go to the toilet but jumps out, out of the litter box and we put him back in the litter box and so on until the kittens gave up and sat down in the litter box. And so gradually, with shaking patience, we began to achieve our goal. We gradually added filler to the litter box and the kittens seemed to get used to it, but still sometimes made puddles in the corners. But then we thought a little and went for the small trick. We just took all the things from the carrier the same rags on which the kittens sleep and spread them around the playpen. The trick is that these things smell like home and you can pee in the house, it's a law of nature. Since then, the kittens have developed a habit of peeing only in the litter box and nowhere else and we and Katya finally celebrated the victory. Approximately from a month, the kittens began to grow so fast that we were surprised at the changes ourselves. It seems that just yesterday we had screaming worms in our hands and now there are real horses running around. We eat a lot now and sleep very little. Also, about eating, we boil chicken fillet without salt and spices, put pieces in a blender, add boiled water so that it's not dry, then grind for a couple of minutes, put it on a plate and bring it to the kittens for tasting. The kittens back at the natural pate with great appetite and everyone is happy. the entire time, Marty hardly left the kittens. He slept near them, both at night and during the day. He played with them and even educated them. Marty is definitely our main assistant, without whom we would hardly have coped. Under this issue, you can even put a mark, all actions in this video are performed under the supervision of a professional. I want to know that the cat always behaved very carefully with the little ones. Marty wanted to play with them and never caused them any harm. Well, what are you sitting there suspiciously for? Come to the litter box. Well, who am I talking to? Get out of here. Sometimes he just laid his belly nearby and watched for order so that the children behaved well. Marty is like a kind father from whom the kittens learn to wash, shave and chop wood. When the babies turned two months old, we dewormed them as a matter of course. The kittens grew up healthy and very beautiful. Just look at our cute faces. With food, we also have everything wonderful. Both wet and dry food fly in with the bang and even homemade from fresh natural products. Teenagers go to the toilet only in the litter box. They are very active and love to play together.
you just have to get out the jingly mouse and the babies instantly grow up and turn into brick, brisk and strong predators. The kittens are also very affectionate and tame. With age, the black and white kitten became grey. His black fur lightened up a bit and took on a nice smoky color. He will be a very beautiful cat with a smoked shade. With the determination of sex, everything is more complicated. The spotted one is definitely a girl and the black one is most likely a boy. But we are not sure. A little later, everything will become clearer. We were afraid that the kittens might not survive. We were afraid to make a mistake or fail. Back in the September, holding a carrier with two litter unwanted outcasts in our hands, we didn't know what awaited us in the near future and how the situation would turn out for us. We were ready for any turn of events, even the most sad one. But we succeeded, which means you will definitely succeed too. These babies were on the verge of death. They might never have seen the light, never seen the world, and never felt affection and warmth again. Everything could have ended for them right there under that fence, if it had rained and the boy simply hadn't gone out for a walk that evening. But this story will have a happy ending. We have done everything that depends on us, and now it remains to take care of the future of these babies. We cannot keep every fun link for ourselves, but we will be happy to give one to any of you. If you like these babies, if you are a responsible person and want to give those babies love and a happy future, please write to us. All the links for communication are left in the description. We will personally deliver the kittens right to your home absolutely free of charge. We take all the expenses on ourselves. From you, only reliability, care and love. We really want to give the kittens to one family. They grew up together, are very used to each other and we categorically do not want to separate them. Please think about it. And if you are ready to find a place in your heart for two beautiful babies, then we are waiting for your message. I also want to ask everyone who watched this video for help with its distribution. Send this video to friends, share it on social networks and let's try to push it into recommendations. This will help to find a family for the babies faster. In the following videos, I will tell you all the news, so don't miss it. All my efforts are for you, and let's do everything possible to give these babies a ticket to a happy life. We can do it. Thank you.